Hello everyone, this is a great shot once. So I've never get another CH2 replay. This is a 2v2 on rails and metal. It's a little more of a long gay 2v2 map, but it should be pretty interesting. We have Archangel and Third Royal Artillery versus Messi Marv and Vio Garde. Thank you, by the way, to Vio Garde for submitting this replay. Let's double check their ranks real quick. And also, uh, if you want to submit a replay, do so via my uh, Gmail or go to CH2.org and uh, upload there. I have a personal shoutcast form, you could do it there. But uh, I, I used to say Facebook, like I said, um, or I keep saying on my replays, because of the whole Facebook situation and them becoming more and more shady. <laughs> even more so. I'm like, mm, no, no, no. But in any case, it looks like it's pretty even across the board in playtime. Remember, rank doesn't matter, but it does kind of show um, how much time you relatively have, which can give an indication, but it's not a definitive answer being like, oh, you play, you have three stars, you're going to be a pro player. No, I've seen three star guys make the dumbest decisions possible. And I would know. I'm a three-star player. So let's move on, shall we? We have Armor Company. Oh, boy. So Assault Engineers inbound, a.k.a. very good, good close-range troops. By the way, I mess with my graphical settings. I'm going to keep doing this over the next few replays just to kind of uh, try to get a replay or, like, try to get optimization setting that really um, – that I personally like a lot more. And overall, the performance of the replay. So you might see a little bit of changing overall in the graphics, but hopefully not too much. But uh, overall, this game looks, still looks pretty good. What do, what do you guys say? Do you get, this game looks fine? No, you're merging together? Okay, that's fine. In any case, uh, Messi Marv going with German history tactics again. I was uh, told by someone specifically, it also includes the stormtroopers like elite troops and encirclement. So it's another way stormtroopers will come into your life and possibly fuck you up. You also get more men, as we see here, for the Pens Grandiers and Grandiers and uh, some nice upgrades. Again, uh, it's a lot of infantry bonuses, plus, again, you get a nice infantry half-track and a frag bomb to deal with enemy infantry. Just don't expect this doctrine to be great against armor. I know I know, stormtroopers can have the panzer track and, uh, I believe, the detection, but still. Um, maybe not as great as, uh, <clears throat> again, maybe not as great as the panzer grenadier squad or just normal basic AT. Anyway, wow, refresh lawns holding mid. Assault engineers moving on up. Looks like we over here, we have Archangel. Oh boy. Oh boy. Guard Mortar. I had a chance for B4, Sean, but no. I guess Guard Mortar it is. Heavier infantry along with some medium armor. Th these two seem to be more like the most popular of them. Well, yeah, sure. In German infantry is po is definitely used, but I wouldn't say it's extremely popular. Especially because I see more people going the uh, uh, some other doctrines as in the German, uh, <clears throat> under German forces like Assault Support or let's see what's here. Uh, German Infantry, Assault Support, and Storm Doctrine. Okay, yeah, these two. Um, I don't think it'll go, again, it would be bad I did go German Infantry, but I don't think Storm Doctrine would be great, so Assault, uh, Support would probably be very good. Anyway, uh, Grand Ears, and actually other German troops managing to hold the fuel and the star and everything along, everything else in this sector, so, looking pretty damn good. If they can take mid, and it looks like they are, plus Munition Point, they'll have majority of the munitions on the map, plus... They'll have a good chunk of the stars, which will put pressure on the allies. So, very good. We have a flanking maneuver coming on in. A sniper, though, on standby, which could definitely start picking apart this MG. So, you have to worry about that. It's actually getting position right now. You can see here it's preparing. Oh, that was a, that was a good trick shot. I'll give him that. But, managing to hurt that sniper. Oh, sorry. The MG. Grand Ears moving on in. Penal troops trying to pick them off. But, uh, again, they're in heavy cover, so they can keep holding for quite some time. They could fire a rifle grenade, but I think that might be a little bit of a waste. Oh, they're trying to move in for the sniper. Run, man, run. Before they kill you, run, man, run. Wow, man, just get out of there. Recommendation, medics, because I, I feel like if you sneeze, little sniper, you are going to die. So just as a heads up. In any case, penal troops moving on in, along with some pioneers fighting close range. We do have a sniper. Oh, sorry, a sniper. A mine right here, but we have a... Uh, mine removal kit, so again, he can detect it, and that way he doesn't blow up. Grand Ears, most likely going to get in the building, but Penals could jump over and throw a satchel. Oh, no, he just throws a satchel, okay. Goodbye! Oh, no, he gets out. Oh, the building just blew up. Well, one more should do it. Grand Ears trying to pull back to, uh, the Assault Engineers, but they have the Flamethrower, which will definitely do damage, especially since they're close together. Um... I do even with the flamethrower, I think these guys, because they were firing for so long, they should relatively be fine. Maybe one squad needs to retreat, but overall they're doing pretty good. Assault NG's taking over the left, but overall, the Germans still have that point. 
Meanwhile, the Soviet forces, let's see what you're going to be packing. We have, uh, we have a German half-track being deployed. You can see here, defensive mode, so it allows to act as a strong point for us hostile infantry. Alright, that's interesting. Just like, uh, turns itself into a bunker. Hey, at least that gives it something to do, so I actually don't mind that. It, it gives it an option to actually have the ability to do something else. Anyway, troops, once again, pushing on in. This may be a situation where a grenade would be great to kind of push them out. But Assault NG is moving on in. They're very good close range, so I fully expect the Epic Grand Ears to pull back. MG redeploying to suppress. Sniper, though, moving back up. Got healed, so we know he went medics. Great shot! Hitting the guy before he jumps into the building. But there's no defense over here. There's no infantry stopping these Grand Ears. So they can just... Oh, no! Penal Troops coming on in. With another sniper shot, they might be able to uh, annihilate. Ah, oh, missed it by that much. That will be amazing if he missed this guy, but it went up and hit a guy over here. Just like one of those random AT shot gifts where it misses the target, but a random Katusha in the background gets murdered. Ah, oh, good good times. Good times. Archangel, though, moved up a heavy mortar to just start bombing the enemy back to uh, Kingdom Come. And honestly, it can, it, it, it can work. This heavy mortar is incredibly powerful. It can one-shot enemy forces. And as long as they play it right, especially with that sniper, they should be fine. Though, looks like German infantry moving on in with the half-track and a flamethrower. Oh boy, the clown car is back in town. And is going after the heavy mortar. But... Oh, he's chasing down the sniper. Okay. Well, we don't really have AT forces, so again, penals can be equipped with PTRS rifles. But a lot of people don't like that because it decreases their anti-infantry uh, power. But sometimes you need a good old AT rifle to really push this stuff back. So... Looks like that was enough. Push the half track back. And it looks like it's still enough infantry power to beat back the Grand Ears. So. Half track is probably going to have to uh, pull back for the time being. But that was a nice save. That was a really nice save to help break up the, the Soviet attack. Though, you can see over here the Americans are pushing on in on left. And try to take over the territory. I'm not seeing many mines or anything in the region. I'm assuming that's why the Pioneers are there. But we'll, we'll see what he does. Also, Angel is also we can see the guards have just a bunch of bonuses, so I fully expect a bunch of guards just start being deployed as soon as he has the manpower and the ability to. Sniper, eight, nine kills. Oh my god, ten kills. Might be able to get a final kill on that if he doesn't move it. He's not moving it. Say goodbye. Nice shot. Especially with that upgrade, that was a very costly loss for the German player. German, though, moving up a mortar. That might be able to counteract the sniper if it gets lucky. Uh, Pioneer's moving in, but with that minesweeper detection ability, it de decreases its uh, infantry fighting power, as we can see here. And, uh, yeah, it's it, it don't, just it's more support. It really, really support. So don't expect it to really turn the tide or do anything major to really change the game. But in any case, uh, we have multiple Grand Ears coming on in. That could definitely help, even though they're negative cover. As this guy's, as you can see with his rifle, at better close range. Get the fuck out of there, man. Run, 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 run. Oh, okay. It looks like he'll, he should be able to survive. That's a lot of Pioneers. I'm seeing a lot of Pioneers. I mean, sure, if he gets flamethrower and stuff like that. Again, he can also increase their squad size by one. Which, just like the British can increase it. You play as well as just play with Engineers. That they buff up so much. That's their artillery. Well, third artillery is the American player. They did buff your engineers as well. Let's let's be very clear. So if you're gonna call out the German player for buffing the engineers, your engineers are also pretty buff. So let, let let's not denounce one side. All right, shall we? Shall we? Any case, uh, s sniper. By the way, uh, again. Oh my God! You just jumped over the fence right into that sniper's line of fire. Oh, multiple uh, troops moving in. Nice idea. Get the guy out of the building. While the penal troops pretty much open fire and get the guys that are rushing to your cover. Sniper moving back just in case. Heavy mortar uh, firing, I'm assuming. Trying to get a nice shot. Ooh, almost good hit. But the retreating kind of saved him a little bit. Flanking maneuver coming with multiple grand ears. Right now, the American player has not really come over to assist the, uh, the Soviet player at all. Sniper kind of camouflaging, getting the fuck out of there. Good idea. Guard troops, here's the thing. They do very well against armor. Uh, specifically because of their PTRS rifles, so this thing needs to get to stay the fuck back. But the Grand Ears with the G43 rifles can definitely dish out damage, except for that heavy mortar that came down just bombed it to Kingdom Come. Uh, guards troops keeping the half track back. Uh, the heavy mortar is taking out the guys. This could work. Oh, no, more additional Grand Ears coming in. Sniper really needs to come in to support. Does, gets a nice shot, pushes the troops back. MG, though. 
holding it in. A bazooka shot nicks out the half track and Royal Engineers forces a mass retreat of all the German forces. This could be the time, the time for the Allies to take some territory. Because right now, as we can see, the Allies have been kind of on a... a, a, a kind of in a bad position because they need to take over a lot of this territory. They really do. Right now, resource-wise, they're not doing great. Uh, the Germans have a small lead in pretty much all fronts, from population to resources. So, uh, again, they need to start taking some points. Luckily, the, the Soviet player has been kind of uh, or get reorganizing. And it looks like actually the losses they inflicted on the Germans did help combat them. So actually, just looking at it now from population, they are better now. So that's good. That's good. Uh, penal troops moving on in, pushing back the mortar. So, a good job on this uh, on them for causing some damage and uh, getting their pop, you know, back on track. Half track, speaking of which, uh, deploying, most likely to help with cover against infantry. MG kind of over here. Assault NGs, no flamethrower, by the way, which could easily wipe that unit. Mortar, though, coming down very close to killing it. A grenade could also, which is also strange he hasn't gotten any upgrades for him. Look, I'm not saying you need it necessarily for the Royal Engineers because they get the flamethrowers, but it's maybe not a bad idea to give this guy an extra bazooka or, you know, uh, a bar or something like that. Any case, half-track managing to push back the right here in the scout car. Scout car can do a bit of damage, especially if it gets in the front. You can see here it can't shoot, but with that thing's main gun in the back, yeah, you want to keep your guys pretty far away. We have an artillery field officer, which can, again, can coordinate a barrage. Requires... <laughs> All right. Or, um... Wait, heavy mortar. Uh, use authority to nearby teams. The officer would direct heavy mortars, pummel the area. Okay. It has a bunch of like little special abilities. I really like the smoke of this thing just helping out. But that's just me. <clears throat> again, just kind of helping you through MG defenses. Once again, another half track. The American player, very little in terms of defense. Half track, though, coming on in, although facing the wrong direction. So half track is literally just going to chase these guys down. And uh, to be fair, I don't... I, there's no reason why. This, again, gets a bar, not a pa uh, bazooka like the lieutenant. So, those are one. Oh, damn it. Just died. Half track. Rushing over. Although, facing the wrong direction. So, it's not going to be able to shoot. Turn around. Oh, my God. Good unit. Unfortunately, just tactically not feasible to keep up this attack. And now, again, if you keep charging like this, they can't fight the Grand Ears. Okay, now they can. Panzer Faust could be in Yep, they are. He drove by so close. I don't understand. Although, again, just at range firing shots, yeah, the, the half track will win. Scout car, though, seeing an opportunity to best his the opponent, might be moving in to attack this thing from its side. But unfortunately, from its position, that could be a little tough. Um, not possible. Oh, pe oh, nice penal troop guarding the back, and should be another shot coming in. Kill it. There we go. Units being pulverized, though. AT gun knocks out the half-track. American forces rushing on in, but the G-43 rifles in heavy cover are just picking them off before they get close. Oh, my God. Again, why cover works out really damn well. The rifles are just doing a damn good job. Looks like we have a strafing run coming in that stopped more infantry. Germans, though, are just trying to hold the line and suppress the Allied counter-assault, which is turning to a major assault with both... Allied uh, players just launching everything they have. Unfortunately, with the Luftwaffe and also the German defenses, they were able to hold in, and it looks like they might be able to press the Allies. Actually, right now, we're artillery. Tons of manpower, not so much an actual men. And they've lost quite a number of forces on, during that assault, so they're, I don't know what they're going to do, but they're going to need to do something quick in order to turn this tide. Right now, good defensive play by the Germans allows them uh, supremacy in at least the left region. However, the Soviets, on the other hand, are uh, pretty beast. They have two heavy mortars that are just wiping German forces that come close, as you can see by that destructive power. They have a sniper that's gotten 16 kills. Respectable amount of kills, honestly. They're helping guard this point. Rifle grenade does very little damage. Right now, their best thing is the half-track uh, from uh, Messi coming in hitting the side. If the American player was maybe a little bit more supportive, that could be helping him out. But that half-track, I'll give him the credit, has been doing wonders at just hit, trying to hit the Soviet player off his guard. Although, I'll say this, the Soviet player, even with those attacks from the side, has been doing a great job with his uh, units just kind of holding the line. So, really, good job, Archangel. You're, do you're doing great. But also, I'll give it this. Field Guardy kind of has been a little bit more of a weak link. 
Messi has been really stepping up his game. We can also see here that he's upgraded his men. Uh, again, he got in the additional men with also a G43 because of the additional man. Um, so these guys are pretty damn powerful, pretty potent, and especially in that heavy cover, just doing a fantastic job at holding the line. Now again, uh, be the one thing I will say about these guys is, we again, if we click on them and see, again, they don't, wait, cost of the, removes the cost, and removes the cost of the field aid ability. Oh, okay. Oh, that's nice. How much is this upgrade? 60 munitions. That's actually pretty worth it, honestly. Yeah, that makes some pretty damn potent infantry. Costly, but very, very potent infantry. Right now, the American player needs probably to remove the assault engineers and stop doing that. I know a lot of people really enjoy them, but unless you're going to do a big blob of them so they can kind of take... I, I take that back. You need something to just to stop the enemy from firing fully on them, close the gap with the Royal Engineers. Um, at least he's pointing down some caches, not a bad idea. And I'm assuming he's going to get armor soon. He has a major being deployed, so at least he's one step closer. I do think that him sending units willy-nilly is probably not a good idea. I think what he really needs to do is kind of get a fighting force going, just like the Soviet player. The Soviet player has a good crew uh, together to kind of combat a lot of the German forces. Nice guard. By the way, yeah, we can see here on Mark Target's in, pl pl in play, so that's going to do more damage against it. So those PTR's rifles are going to just be super effective now against this tank. Again, there's just one unit with PTR's rifles. Already a third of it's dead. Also, I think possibly a satchel. Yes, it is. I'm very curious how much a satchel is going to do. Holy shit, that tank's almost dead. One unit. One unit managed to push that back with marked target. So it can be very effective. Uh, we still have the heavy mortars opening fire. Not a lot of kills from what I can see, but again, all he needs one damn good hit, uh, hit from that heavy mortar to just squad wipe you. So be very cautious with those heavy mortars. Um, and make sure you're constantly on the move, or at least out of the range. In any case, also, far-reaching effects, those mortars are coming down from all the way over here, so very nice. Um, German forces, uh, we can see here he's getting a Brumbar. So he's really focusing on the anti-infantry. If the, the American player gets armor, uh, that could, oh sorry, or an armor that's actually pretty effective at killing infantry and armor, the German player might have a disadvantage. Again, we still have Moss Panzerfaust so we have to worry about, and the 8-pack gun. But overall, he doesn't have something that necessarily that's really effective against armor. Um, it, so, could be an issue. Could be an issue. But we'll see. Uh, third artillery, what are you getting? You got the major. You have an AT gun. You have a small detachment. You're really on defense. You really don't need to capture that to really help your teammate out. Because right now, you guys aren't doing great on munitions compared to the enemy. And the enemies, I guarantee you, are going to use that munition advantage for airstrikes. And also getting additional upgrades. So, you know. Be very careful about that. I also love five-man engineer squad. What? Well, sorry, pioneer squad. Because you know why not? Give them. Oh my God! Five-man plus to get the flamethrower. Oh boy. Brumbar coming over to assist. Oh, good building collapse. Really, very nice. He does have a lot of infantry, but the Brumbar is specialized in killing infantry, so that can be very bad for the Soviet player. He does have a lot of um, AT forces moving on up, and we can see here that. Uh, Messi is now deploying in this region to try to counter. Penal Troops trying to get in close to throw a satchel. Might be able to. Nope, not able to. American player sending some troops. He does have some bazooka forces, but that's really not going to do a ton versing this thing. If it gets marked targeted again, maybe. But we can see here that, again, I don't think he has munition. No, he doesn't. Uh, to mark target. Oh, damn good hit. G43 is blobbing a bit. Heavy mortars really need to go in overdrive right now. Also, sniper needs to start picking. Oh, the E is picking off some troops. Cool. Oh, damn, that troop is barely alive. Penal troops trying to desperately hold the line, but the G43 rifles are just slicing him apart. And a great shot by the Brumbar may make the uh, infantry very close. If not, yep. I was going to say dead. Oh, boy. We do have a couple mines that could maybe stop in advance, but. Overall, it's just a full route. He did get the sniper out, though, and most of his troops are fine. He's getting a T-3045, which should be able to counter the... Wait, hold on. You have that much fuel, but you didn't get T-3040... I'm so confused why he didn't get out sooner. That is that is very curious. Strafing support coming in to uh, suppress and stop these guys from moving on in. Remember, most of his forces move to a different front, so that's why this guy can probably assault and uh, caused quite a bit of damage. We also have a frag bomb that came down. It didn't it probably have killed something or maybe moved him away, but I'm not seeing a ton of damage. 
Yeah, he's moving his troops back. A nice mine, by the way, stops the, uh, the Panzer IV from moving on up. Now, this is what I'm talking about for major, major armor. T-3045 can easily hold back a Panzer IV and a Brumbar at the same time. Sherman, also very helpful. We'll see how effective that is. Um, right now, they still have a pack gun. However, v Ville, do you have any major? He does not. So, a big armor push on right could really screw up Garde. That being said, it looks like he is saving up for a Tiger, but that is still a ways away. T-3045, if he can get some nice kills and maybe pick off a German infantry unit here or there, could definitely help. Does this guy have a resupply ability? Um, Alright. Oh, he does have medics. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, I was thinking either a half-track on the front or medics here. Okay, so he has a way to heal his troops. Okay, good, good, good. So, these guys, again, they're all Vet 3 with their... G oh, my God, 28 kills. Holy shit. Yeah, those things are doing well. <laughs> those things are doing well. But yeah, uh, they definitely have to watch out with the T-3045 moving around. Because again, they don't have a pack gun, at least on the right. So that can definitely cause a lot of damage and allow the Soviet player to gain more ground. And possibly turn the tide on this sector. But we shall see. We shall see. Because again, I there's always that situation where someone can mismanage or misuse an armored unit. And it sh they can't use it effectively. But so far, he's doing pretty well. He's going after targets that are very important. Uh, what is that coming in? Is that a major strike? Did you really just... You, you did. Why did you call in the major there? I don't know. He was already retreating. Meanwhile, we do have additional AT units to support the T-3045. So, even though we have a Stu coming in, as long as he's supported with the T-3045 with his troops, he should be okay. Now, the thing is, while Archangel is definitely overwhelming Veal, uh, Messi has way more troops than uh, Royal Artillery. Royal Artillery is definitely a situation where I don't know, like, I don't know why you're firing this. Just have the heavy borders take it out. It'll be very quick. Um, Sherman, though, opening fire. But, again, we have a problem. Uh, not really anything else supporting it. It does have armor-piercing guns. I, I, that was my first instinct to check to make sure it has it. It does. So that's good. That's good. Uh, the problem is, as well, he has a lot of manpower right now. A few more caches could be very helpful. Nice job with T-3045 for trying to push back the Stug. But, as we can see here, there was just... A lot of forces in the region, so we had to pull back. Although, again, the infantry support's definitely helping him out and keeping the Germans back. So he's probably going to fall back, heal real quick, and then probably rapidly deploy it. Infantry having a rough time fighting those penals. Guard troops... I'm oh, sorry, not guard troops, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> grenadiers. Yeah, we'll say the boosted grenadiers are coming on in. Along with a uh, Panzerschreck squad. So that can be very effective. Let's see, can we do assault and hold? Uh, infantry, give your orders to assault. Mar oh my god, yeah, that could be very potent. In me seeing this, he's like, yeah, I'm going to pull back. Now, the T-3045 is weakened, but not out of the woods yet. The Panzer IV is definitely have a rough time. Oh, wow, that was a bounce? That's an 85mm gun. Holy shit, he's very lucky. Panzer Grenadier squad, definitely there for the support. This thing, though, again, lacking a lot of it. And, unfortunately, not able to get the bounce. A mortar shot did do some damage against Grenadiers. But alas, not enough. He does have another one being deployed. We saw he had an extra, uh, a lot of uh, fuel in reserve. So it looks like that's definitely going to help him out. Guard troops. I'm, not, I'm very unsure why you're there. He, he has hit the dirt. So it's just firing all over the place. The American blob has come in. We have a strafing run, though, coming in to suppress it. Which is good. Again, with that plane coming in. Suppress the infantry. And with them suppressed, the armor could technically run them over. But it makes them... Uh, Unable to do much now without the uh, <laughs> without the Panzer Grenadier squad. This this T3045 coming in to you know avenge the other one should be able to knock out the Brumbar pretty quick. Oh, a T gun coming in. Finally, the American player doing some major damage, and T3045 might be able to knock this sucker out and come around and knock out that Panzer IV. We shall see. Grenadier's on a massive retreat, so this thing is all alone. Did knock out. Oh, sorry, strafing run knocked out the AT gun. This thing moving on in against Panzer IV, which is showing his rear to it. Bad sign. Oh, my God. The, the train car took the shot. I'm not seeing... Oh, the Stug's still on standby, so he definitely wants to watch out. And I like how he waited for additional forces before attempting to move up. That's, again, good gameplay there. We also have a couple mines in the region, although he has Minesweeper coming in to counter that. So, very nice. Uh, overall, Roar Artillery has regained focus. He has a lot of armored units. Those Stu could probably redeploy and start popping shots there. This guy has a nice defensive line over here as well. I'm not seeing any Teller Mines or anything in the region. Maybe I'm missing that. But I think Mines and everything else would be good. He has another M uh, MG Bunker going down to stop an American push. Um, 
Oh, it looks like the Shermans fell back after getting shot at. They need a Jackson, I think, to really counteract this. We don't have a Panther being deployed. So it looks like after the Brumbar's death, he's like, fine, I'll get something to deal with that T-3045. And actually, Archangel might be able to deploy another one very soon. His engineer squad is back at base healing. But if we look at overall how much it, it would cost to get another T-3045, he probably can. But alas, he's, he's doing something different. He has one T-3045 to fight infantry. And then he's getting the tank destroyer variant of the SU-85. So again, you have the more infantry version with the T-3485 and now the SU-85 for um, armor. And I guess his idea is to counteract the armor, whether it's this or more major uh, Panther. Again, a nice idea. Um, also with Mark Target could be very effective at like trying to keep that stuff back. Uh, Sherman moving on in, this could be a bad idea because we, uh, we still have Sugs and Panzer IVs in the region. And a Sherman is fine. At, like holding its own against the Panzer IV, but if the Stug is doing some port of fire, that could really cause some additional issues. AT gun though on standby, which is weird because I think the AT gun is still there. It is. Okay. I'm surprised we haven't remanded it. Sherman, very close to the front, probably needs to fall back further and heal with his vehicle crew. I'm once again surprised about that. We have a major calling in our, our artillery in this region. Oh, the, man, this T 34 is barely alive. T 34. Oh, sorry, that Panzer IV is almost alive. T-34 probably did damage to it and pulled it back. Nice T-3045 falling back again. Don't want to push up too much. Heavy mortars trying to provide some supportive cover to bring him down. Uh, SU-85 probably needs to move in. Oh, get the fuck out of there. Panzer Grenadier is moving in. Good shot with the AT gun, though. Again, kind of moving out of sight. Oh, very close. And great support of fire from all directions. Killing the Panzer IV and stopping their advance. Sniper, once again, 25 kills. Nothing to sneeze at. Managing to push back the Panzer Grenadiers. And Panther, realizing no infantry support, is going to probably pull back. On the far left, we have some troops moving on in. But again, with the MG and stuff like that, they're probably not going to push in that region. They do have mid, though. And they're taking this opportunity to move up with the Sherman. This Panzer IV would be a great opportunity to hit. But again, there's so much armor here that you really don't want to push up. It would be too much of a risk. Especially with the allies right now, they really need to keep putting pressure on the Germans. And that was a that was kind of a waste. Now he's moving up another Sherman, which is weird because he's showing up backwards toward the Stug, which is making more damage option. Because again, rear armor hit, so again, gonna do more damage to it and more likelihood to penetrate. So really that was a really bad engagement. Good frag bomb too. Knocks out the mortar and the AT gun. So like, once again, the American player went from having an advantage to now having a disadvantage. So Again, all to try to kill what? The MG? Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Really not a good idea. Once again, I feel like every time Archangel, Archangel does something really well or good, even though he's losing a couple troops, um, his teammate is just uh, not that effective. Guard troops might be able to pin or knock out that uh, officer running away. Nope, smoke covers him. Okay, very nice. Now, uh, SU-85 on standby. He probably wants to stay back in case the Panzer Grandiers come back. Uh, definitely have to worry about that. Also, very surprised. Veal Guardi, do you have trucks? Yeah, you have one truck. I'm surprised you haven't deployed more, honestly, because they give you more resources. So, that that, that could be effective. Uh, Panzer IV, we do have one Panzer IV, one Stug. Is he getting the upgrade? Oh, no, he's saving up for a Tiger now. He's probably saving up for a Tiger. A lot. Of, again, one thing I will say is all these uh, Grand Ears have not died yet. So, he, Major is calling down artillery to kind of break them apart. It is Vet 2, so we, they will be more effective. If they get a lucky shot here, that'd be great. Probably not going to, though. Heavy Mortar, though, causing a lot of damage to that thing's health, pulling it back. Although we still have a bunch of Grandiers on standby still. They're probably not going to be able to keep this fight going. You probably will need to pull back. Once again, you have an AT gun right there, but very little support. It would have been a really good opportunity to pull it back. Assault Engineers, get closer. You'll do more damage that way. Um, I don't know why you're not doing that. And again, AT guns, I get they're firing at this, but it's not going to do much. So pull it back. All the assault engine needs to cover you. And you should be fine. Panzer IV deploying back to mid. This guy, again, just unable to keep up his manpower to get a Tiger, which is a big issue for heavy tanks. They're very expensive. So it can be very, very costly to get that unit. Although, oh boy, your third ar uh, third war artillery, you're definitely losing a lot of men. Meanwhile, German's probably going to take advantage of this, try to push on mid. Nice job. Take out that T-gun. Not going to deal with that bullshit. Um, we still have a T-3045. We have a Jackson now. Be very good. Pack gun, though, on standby to take out some of that armor and whatnot that pushes on in. 
Hansworfer coming down. Could be a good target here. Oh, shit. No, he takes out uh, uh, some troops right there. Was that American? Or Soviet? I can't... I think it's... It was... I think it was Soviet. Anyway, a lot of uh, German forces moving on in. Wide open area on the right. Actually, surprised the American didn't lay down any mines. Like, cheap mines, of course, to stop armor. Anyway, tank destroyers opening fire, trying to pin them off. They might kill the Panzer IV if they focus fire. Jackson, come on, one last shot. Good shot. All right, guard troops need to come on in and pin this Panther to stop in advance. Um, again, Mark Target as well could be very effective. We know he has it. Buttoned. Mark Target, come on. Nah, damn it. Frag bomb coming in. What nice shot killing the guard troops. More guards on standby, but he needs more. And unfortunately, he doesn't have the manpower to keep taking this many losses. Great airstrike, by the way, knocking out a lot of the frontline troops. Meanwhile, the Stugs on standby. Archangel and Royal Artillery Regiment are down, but they're not out entirely. They still have a couple units that can help out, but overall, their units have been depleted quite a bit. Um, let's see. Uh, Archangel deploying what? More guard troops? Okay. He could deploy more armor shortly, but it's going to take a little bit of time. Panther is healing right now. He has a Panzer for the help of the infantry right now. If I had to guess, he still has all these Grenadiers that have not died yet. So that's been a very large concern um, for the Soviets and the Americans to try and deal with that infantry. American player launching a counterattack. A little bit risky. A little bit risky. But again, I can see that they're trying to take mid back. But Panzer for coming down, probably going to wipe out more of the manpower. And that's, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, maybe not. Did very little bit of damage. MG kind of covering this sector. Artillery coming down. Guard troops now coming in. Again, by itself, which is very risky. Maybe just trying to kill the mortar. Um, although, you figure these mortars would probably move up and try to do, do more damage. They're a little bit farther back. I, maybe move them up slightly to kind of help with the firing at these units. But, hey, at least you killed the mortar, so that's good. At least that's so one German unit you killed. Vilgarde, once again, kind of the weaker link of this. He's been doing okay, but... Uh, not great. Uh, Messi has been literally the ace with his Grenadiers that have just been putting a ton of pressure on the American player, just helping to pit, take him out. We do have an airstrike coming in. Let's see if these guys are able to retake this point. The, again, ass Assault Engineers, just not in their environment. They're, they're fighting in wide open territory. It's just not their environment. Great, uh, possible grenade? No, rifle grenade going out. He thought he would probably retreat it, which is why he moved it slightly behind. Again, kind of the anticipating the enemy action. The enemy's like, I don't care. I'm just going to keep it there. Oh, he missed. Cool. Great ears just pushing back the major. And yeah, overall, there is some mortar fire coming down, but the Germans are taking over the spot. Very nice. We do have a Panzer IV moving on in. And we do have a, uh, a Sherman and a tank destroyer along with some additional infantry moving on up. So that could help with the front. The Soviet player uh, getting a T-3045. I'm assuming this might be their last attempt. They could do a... The problem with uh, their current doctrines is they don't have something to really do like a final blow maneuver. Like a encirclement doctrine or solid artillery. Or if we're going by the Allies, like an IL-2 bomb strike or... A heavy artillery. They don't really have something like that. They're going to have to take it out manually with their units. We'll see how well they do. Um, Grandiers just kind of rolling on up. There's not much countering them. Heavy mortars, though, opening fire. Pan's Grandiers rushing on in. We can see here that they're using the combined arm. Wait, what? Combined arms. Oh. Cool. And looks like that actually worked. Knocking out the... Uh, Wow, knocking out that poor unit. Strafing gun coming in to suppress the infantry. Again, kind of been helpful this game. Not incredible, but hey, it stops stuff like that from happening. Decrease their effectiveness because they can't fire bazooka shots. Why you move up, I don't know. Pack gun is overwatching this. This is a bad play by him. He's going to lose that Jackson. And T-3045 desperately trying to hold the, the point with the Soviet. The Soviet play has been a lot more reserved, but that's really helped him out a lot. Yeah, that's GG. Okay, I'm going to fast forward through this. Oh, wow. Wow, nice job quitting. Archangel. Yeah, lol. I, I, you, oh my god. Good job running him over the suppressed troops. And being suppressed. He's been arranging the whole game about how I'm supposed to cap all three objectives. Well, GG's. Hey, you know what? Yeah, so, and it's, it's funny because we saw third world artillery 
he hasn't been that great. Yes, he has some veterancy, but overall, his he hasn't been able to really pin his teammate, and the Soviet player has been taking a brunt of the action. He he really needed just riflemen. Like, riflemen upgrade with bars can really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those grand ears. But if you go, these guys that are better at close range, they have to close the gap, and that's just very unlikely for them to do that. They, he did an okay job of keeping them alive, but they're just not going to do that damage they really want to that they would do in, like, more urban or more, more closely packed center, like a force or something. But Soviet player did really well. His guard troops did pretty well. Unfortunately, some airstrikes just wiped him out. But hey, that's the Luftwaffe for you. They can do quite a bit of damage. Though I'll give him, I'll, I'll give him this. I will give him credit where credit's due. He kept his sniper alive. Look at the, look at this guy. He's he's disappointed, but he did get 29 kills. So overall, damn fine job, man. His armor gameplay was good. 234 85s, so unfortunately though, were taken out. But more so by double team. Usually, the Soviet player would do very well, and then a double attack by. Uh, Messi would come in through the side after Villa would lose the battle. Villa was fine. I think he got some good shots in, but Messi was like the pro. Messi was definitely the best player on the German team, while Archangel was the best player on the Soviet team by a wide margin. And that kind, of, yep, that kind of goes through with damage. Look at this: 178 kills, 71. Villa Garde did fine. But Messi, yeah, did very well. And we can see your Archangel, more damage and more kills. Holy shit. Yeah, complain more, 3rd Arti Artillery. Complain more about those kills. Yeah, you you did not. You, you, you are the reason why Messi just got that veterancy. Holy God. But hey, that goes to show you. Sometimes you get good teammates, sometimes you don't. But yeah, don't don't blame your teammates on uh, bad gameplay when really you just picked a, a bad doctorate for this environment if i had to say something that probably would have been better honestly i think infantry company would have been good or or uh airborne because airborne you got paratroopers again lmgs or you get the uh infantry for those lmgs and that really could have com combat some of those uh grand ears from a distance and that and again the more distance gameplay might have really helped you out a lot more um but you closing the gap really was just a slaughter with those G43 rifles. But in any case, uh, that's game, guys. Make sure you submit those replays. But it's been Gray Shot 17. I'll see you all next time. Hello, everyone. Before I go, I want to give a special shout out to the Patreon supporters: Ace, Delta, Joey, JP Val, Junior Checklist, Malam, Ollie, Only Play Apples, Pyro Shark, Rifle, Sarge McPain, Streaking Wookie, White Hot D, Aaron Yee. Jordan Savant, Leo Lu, Nathan Angus, and Tim. Thank you all for your amazing support. You guys are incredible. This has been Grayshot17, and I'll see you all next time.